the last time we came here it was full winter time I think this time we came here how to get that bass little spotted bass right there it's not winter and it's not summer but there's grass the cool thing about this tall grass is there's ticks usually on the ends of the leaves which is pretty awesome but I couldn't get downstream before and this is where I wanted to go so if you're new to my channel then thanks for stopping by take a minute and like and subscribe and also if you go over to Facebook I do reels to give you a little cheats of what I find before the videos come out that's kind of fun there are things that are going on with me and my bride and my offspring but we're looking for anything and everything that washes down city creeks throughout any town we're in mainly Alabama this is some crystal clear water so I think we're just going to kind of test it right in here then I do want to turn around and go upstream which is much more my style because all the junk you stir up won't be washing and catching up with you I thought that was rubber fishing worm but I believe it is a metal screw in hook sometimes I believe the wrong thing and in this situation I did but nonetheless we shall harvest I just found an incredibly massive, large metal huh, painted sign. I thought it was wood, but it's not. It says, I don't know what it says. Look how big it is. That's my foot on the end of my leg. Yes, I'm taking it out of here. I don't believe it's porcelain. I probably shouldn't be dragging my feet all over it. Discount something. Look how big this sign is. The well, next question is, how do I get that in my wagon? Because it's going with me. This may be the entire video is getting this thing out of this creek. I haven't been here about six and a half minutes, depending on if you're in Georgia, Alabama, or California. You know, there's a time difference. Is this thing on or you got grass in your eyes? I want you to see this sign as I fight the battle to drag it out. Where is it? Okay, I think it, oh, I'm about it's right there in front of it. on there okay come here hurry up the sun's washing away I had stickers on this side the other side is not stickers it's two pieces of metal made together I want to be disappointed if this is a modern sign that just blown off the building and it says Dollar General I 
What does this say? I need some uh, gloves on my hands, don't I? Oh, I just remember something. I got some new gloves. I might just stick around that side too. Hold on. Okay, it may not be as old as I thought it was. Race. Does that say race? Hold on, I'm still working on it. Race. And wash and wash and wax. Oh, detailing. Okay, it's not old. That's a bummer. Race day. Wash and wash and wax. Okay, what does it say on top? Welcome. Best little car wash. Now I'm having four thoughts. Well, maybe third. I was at second thoughts, but I, I made it past it. And I thought, well, I'm, I'm at third thoughts now. And I'm unsure whether I want to try to haul this thing out of here. I don't know. The question is, ah, oh, there's an area code. That means it's not a old. Oh, goodness. We'll have to think about that one. I'm not sure yet. I'm probably going to get it and take it out of here. Just so it's not in here anymore. But I don't think it's uh, as incredible as I thought it was. My bride and I were digging bottles in our own backyard. Because there used to be a store way out in the country kind of where our house was and uh because they had dumped all the old bottles out in the back this is long before i started really paying attention to bottles i just thought it was fun i wanted to find something besides bottles and she started kicking away some leaves that seemed to be moving easily and there was a stack of two signs about that size, they were maybe a little bigger. Maybe they were like four by eight size of a sheet of plywood. And one of them was an old Coca-Cola sign. And it was in absolutely beautiful condition after we washed it. It was face down on another sign that was an ad for cigarettes. And I forget the brand. But we drug them both out. I'm sorry, not cigarettes, beer. We drug them both out and uh, cleaned them up. And I should have kept it, but it was too big for us to display. And I'm not really a, a Coke stuff collector. So I sold it. It was pretty amazing how much somebody paid for that thing. So that sign kind of brought back memories. memories I can't ever figure out which way I want to go when there's a left and a right and an island in the middle it's little in the middle but it's kind of got much back back that way I've kind of got here at kind of too late in the day the Sun is not over my shoulders it is lighting up California really well right now where everybody lays on the beach and here I am looking at trash in Alabama that's okay that's what we do for entertainment hey there's some footprints and they're not mine 
now the next question is can we get around this massive swimming pool right here I'm gonna try to stand still which is next to impossible for me but I don't know if you can see anything in there but my shadow but there's some really large I believe they're called white sucker fish in there and there's a there's a fairly large spotted bass in there I believe and it may be no it ain't spotted it may be a, a red eye there it goes right there I believe the Alabama state record red eye is not that big I mean not a big fish compared to big fish I mean like maybe three pounds but you might want to goog that because I don't remember for sure but I do know that we need to come back here and fish this and meet that fish and then send it back home That's a no-name brick. I've only found two halfway decent bottles in this creek and they were under the bridge right here. Do not appear to be any more, but this, I don't know, let's go around here. We'll take that road later. Because I want to go over here on this bank. I don't know what used to be here or in the empty lands around it, but every now and then something old pops out of the bank on the left. I've looked at maps, new and used. What is that? That's an old washing machine in it. You don't have to answer. I can't hear you. I knew you were waiting for me. There's another ball over there. This may be a creek that needs no glasses in a minute. Everything's so smooth. I guess the last big storms cleaned everything up and buried it. Okay, here's an example of a bank. It's old stuff popping out. All we need is one marble to roll down next to the pottery. Oh, we'll keep traveling. There's a little bird bathing its feathers. I don't know how much farther I'm going to go. But if you uh, look back at some past videos, I don't know how many past. Actually, since I don't know when this one is going to be ready for y'all to enjoy. We did a cleanup in a town. There's a roadside cleanup, but the, the group also does creeks. So I'm looking forward to those and forward to taking y'all along. There is golf ball number two. And you know the routine. I've reached my water level limit. And it appears we're at an impasse. So we'll have to climb out and go upstream. I'm on the edge. It's still pretty deep down there. There's not appear to be anything. So we're going to head back up the same where we're going and get up towards the town. Hopefully it'll be something incredible and amazing. There's some very large, I believe they're called white sucker fish. They travel up into the uh, creeks in the spring. And I've actually found them in my little creek and it's not deep at all. Some pretty big ones. All right, we made it. 
Let's continue along. That was kind of a uh, semi-challenge. Mm. There does not appear to be anything in this creek. Worth harvesting with the exception of the sign. So this may turn out to be a sign video. Signs are definitely not my thing. I like small signs. Like I found a few railroad signs in creeks. But big, gigantic, honking gas station signs. Not my thing. Okay, let me see how much further we can go. I'm getting torped by mosquitoes. I want to tell you a little tidbit of information I learned. And I didn't learn it because I learned it in school somewhere. I learned it because I saw it. Let me find a spot on this hill. Now, I don't know about that hole, but this round one. I don't know if you're familiar with a bird called a kingfisher. I've seen them land on banks and they'll stack up, pack mud along the top, and they live in the banks of creeks. I didn't know that. I just saw it and I watched one one day and it was really cool. This is uh, Two Gulf Falls Sign Creek. Right here, it's all we get. Now all I gotta do is figure out my best exit wound and we'll call it a day and do something else. Thanks for watching my videos.